Wow. So, um, so I want to end off with a story. Um, and it's a short one, so don't worry, <laughs> Susanna. <laughs> Good. No. So, um, I'm a facilitator, so I'm always watching the time. <laughs> okay. And so, one of the greatest mindset tools is tuning your brain to notice the opportunity in crisis. And some of you probably have heard of Napoleon Hill. He wrote a famous book in the last century called Think and Grow Rich. And he, he interviewed people like Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, Alexander Graham Bell, et cetera, some of the most accomplished people of the time. And he said one of the things that they did that, quote, average people didn't do is they knew, and I really want you to hear this, they knew that their greatest opportunities almost always came disguised as problems and catastrophes. And so here's the closing story that I hope will help you remember this. So it was a hot September day, Indian summer, about 10 or 15 years ago. And I'm power walking down this country road. And um, my left knee was injured. I couldn't run. And so I'm walking as fast as I can to get some kind of cardio going. But here was the problem. There were all these little caterpillars lying on the road, basking in the sun that growing up we call woolly bears, little brown ones with a little black you know, stripe. And so they're like relaxing in the, in the warm sun. And I'm feeling bad for them because obviously <laughs> that's not a safe place to be. And so I don't want them to get smushed, but also I want to get some cardio. And I, and I can't stop every 10 feet and like, here, little woolly bear, and, you know, shepherd them off the road. So what do I do is I take off my tank top and I'm like power walking down the road. And I'm like, whoosh, 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 like, except it's down here, whooshing them off the road like a big woolly bear windshield wiper. And of course, it wasn't until years later it dawned on me, that must have looked pretty weird, anybody driving by. But because, like, I love the whole idea of story, teaching through stories, and every interesting moment can be a metaphor, I found myself thinking, wow, this is just like a metaphor for humans when life deals us this, this heavy blow or this big cosmic whack side of the head happens like the pandemic. And it's like you think about it. From the Woolies bear, the woolly bear's perspective, life is great, you know, basking in the sun, all is good. And the next moment, like I'm flying through the air and, and like smashing onto the ground. And so like they're like, if they feel, you know, feeling, but like being attacked, picked on, traumatized. But from my perspective, like the higher perspective, I'm saving their lives. And we're just like the woolly bear. So when we're in the midst of getting whacked, like the pandemic or all the other change, challenge, and uncertainty that happens, it's so easy for us to feel that woolly bear, see the woolly bear perspective and feel picked on. And what we need to do, so we're aware of the crisis, what we need to do is learn to see the gift and the opportunity. And the only way to do that, I believe, is so here's, here's like a, a closing exercise to do later, is to reflect on your life, all those catastrophes and crises and difficulties where it felt all, it just felt like pain and misery and crisis. But now looking back on it, you see the doors that were opened, the opportunity and the gifts in it. And when you see from your own experience, like there was that time, that time, that time, what it does, it's proof. It's not like just a little motivational poster. It's proof from your own experience that yes, in the midst of the woolly bear experience, there's that witness self that if you can cultivate it, can also see the opportunity. And so, so I've been practicing this for so many years that even in the moment when I'm like, you know what, not happy about this, you know, this is a real drag, 
I also am like, and I know there's opportunities here. What are those opportunities? There's gifts. And you do that enough, it tunes the brain like a like which FM station you're going to. So instead of getting locked on the crisis and disaster and oh, woe is me station, you begin to tune the, the, the tuner to pick up on the radio station about opportunities and gifts. So that's what I want to leave you with.